Hello. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot uh, Today, uh, I will show you how to use image field of the grid view um, in the grid view as a bounded field. So, this is my database table. Here we have a pictures uh, under the image folder apple dot png crabs and mango and respective names the add a new web form to use image field of the grid view control so similarly my previous video tutorials create a grid view uh, control by using the source code ID Z1 run at server auto generated column false. Okay. In my previous video tutorials, I have uh, already learned about the bounded field. Today, I will show you uh, one bound field and another is a image field. Okay. So, bounded field is already learned in previous video tutorial. Uh, it means the data text data field is similar with the um, column name of the table that is id and header text according to user okay mm, here we have two property that is data field and header text and in the image field uh, i have only uh, only one property to bind the image and you can take also the header text okay so here we have two bound field that is one bound field is referred to the id and second bound field is referred to the name okay now the third field is referred to the picture uh, so you can take image field asp image field in the uh, normal uh, image is bound with the image url so data image url field is referred to as a property name data image url field is picture okay and the header text also you can take fruit picture or you can say fruit icon okay that's fine now bind it with the two methods uh, using sql data source and uh, ad.net technology so first of all i i have to bind it with the ad.net technology that is already bind in previous video tutorial that is bound field so copied it from here and paste it under the paste load method bind grid and the method is extract from here copy and paste it here that's fine now remove the usings by using the control dot uh, press your control key and also with the dot key then resolve the name spaces problem that is the uh, I have, um, two name spaces there system dot data dot sql client and system dot data and change the table name that is fruit table so because uh, in this database we have two tables that is user table and fruit tables so run it uh, in the browser yeah respective images is shown under uh, grid view control so bind it with the sql data source control drag and drop the sql data source control similarly uh, this tutorial is learned in previous video tutorials but specific for the image field uh, today i'm showing okay now in the uh, the only single data source we can assign in the grid view so comment it and uh, 
bind grid views also method it doesn't take effects uh, in the um, code but comment it copy the sql data source and add a new property that is data source id data source id equals to sql data source 1 so thank you thank you very much oops no reflected not changes resign save this and done it so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other remaining video tutorials of uh, which is related to sv.net thank you thank you very much keep watching my channel videos